Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to continue to refactor our application. We are going to extract more methods into the courses service. We are going to see that this is the first step that we need for solving the nested subscribes problem. So what we can do now is go back to the course detail component, which is still not compiling, and we are going to extract these queries here also. We are going to do calls to the courses service as well. So here what we were doing was something else. We were going to the list of courses, retrieving the course of a given ID, retrieving the course with a given course URL. So this is the output of this part here. This returns an observable of course, not of a list of courses, but one particular course. Then we were subscribing to it and we were further retrieving from the database the list of lessons of that particular course ID. So now let's refactor this into multiple methods of the service layer. So the first part would be this one that retrieves a particular course. So we are going to extract this code and we are going to move it here to a service layer method that we are going to call find course by URL. And we are going to define what is the API of this method. So this will return an observable of course. So it's not a list of courses, it's only one course. In here, we are going to return here an observable and we are going to define here one parameter for this method. It's going to be named course URL and it's going to be of type string. So as we can see now, the code is compiling correctly. So just one uh, explanation about this map operation. We are retrieving a list of courses. But here what we have is an array. Because there is only one course with a given URL, we are receiving an array with one element. So that is why we are accessing here the first element of this array. And we are returning it as an observable of course. So now if we go back here, we can use this new method to implement this part of the query that we are doing. Find course by URL and we are going to pass in the course URL. So as you can see, this part of the program is already compiling. Now we are subscribing to the courses service and we are doing yet another query here. So let's start by extracting this part here. So what this retrieves is the list of lessons for a given course ID. So we are going to extract this and move it here to another method in the service layer. We are going to call to that method find lessons for course. We are going to pass in one parameter which is the course ID of type string and the return type will be an observable of lesson array. So this will return the list of lessons for that particular course. If we paste in here this code, we can return this because it's returning an observable. And we are going to specify that we are querying the lessons node of the Firebase database. So if we go back here to the database, this is the node that we are querying. And we are querying the entries that have a given course ID. So we are ordering by course ID. This is the way that Firebase querying works in general. We specify an order and here we say that this property is equal to this parameter here. So now we can use this method to finish the implementation of our course detail. So the way that we use this new method is we call courses service find lessons for course. We pass in the course ID and we get back an observable. We subscribe to it. Whenever the observable emits a new value, that will be the lessons for that course. We're going to store that data here at the level of this local variable. But as we can see at this point in the program, we still have the nested subscribes problem. So it's clearly visible here, free nested subscribes. So now we have extracted these queries to the courses service. Let's see how can we use observables to combine these queries together and solve the nested subscribes issue. This is coming right up in the next lesson.